Uh, I've been here um, getting to know my new teammates, coaching staff, and uh, just lifting and um, open gym and, you know, getting a little chemistry with my teammates. The head coach, Bakari Alexander, he was uh, kind of my head recruiter at Michigan. And um, just uh, what happened at Michigan, you know, it was it didn't work out. And so I uh, asked for my release papers. And then when I found out he got the job, it was a thought. And then it just ended up happening. He's, he's a talking type of guy. Uh, you know, he's a real intelligent person. He knows a lot of things and stuff like that. So, and he, he's, he's tough, he holds you accountable. So I, I feel like he's a pretty good coach. At uh, his, um, at Michigan, he, he, he was the guy, every, he was the last guy to go. And so, you know, that means, you know, say the best for last. So he will always come with, you know, some type of song or a prop that has something to do with the game and stuff like that. So, you know, we, every game we will always be waiting for what he had in store. So I'm pretty sure guys are going to be excited about it. He's already brought it to practice too, so I'm pretty sure they're getting a little familiar with it. There's, there was one that I can remember because he actually had a prop and it was a Dory like from Nemo. And he said, you know, no matter what happens or the, you know, adversity or what's going on, just keep swimming. And so that, that one stuck in my, that one stuck with me. He, he really basically talked about, you know, regardless of, you know, if you're missing shots or, you know, if you're not having a good day or if something is going on outside of basketball, you know, your teammates are there to support you, you know, to just keep you pushing and keep you pushing through because, you know, at the end of the day, it's all going to end and it's going to turn around for you. So just keep swimming. <laughs> I mean, he, he was a winner, so I mean, you can't, you can't really go against somebody that won, and I'm pretty sure that's what everybody's here to do, so learning from a winner, you can't, you can't really go against that, so that plays a lot. I think we're a good team, you know, just on and off the court, you know, we compete on the court, you know, it's not, you know, too nice and stuff like that, we don't have too nice guys, we compete every day, but off the court, you know, everybody hangs out with each other, everybody in each other's dorms and stuff like that. So we have, kind of have a click going. And, you know, the conditioning is really bringing us closer and closer together. So that that's really helping out a lot too. Uh, well, I met him uh, about the five days after I got on campus. And since then, you know, Nick has been a guy that's been killing me and the rest of my teammates, but uh, He's, he's, he's really cool, you know, he knows, uh, it's not like we have a hate, love relationship with him or nothing like that. He's, he's a really good guy, he just pushes us and that's what we, that's what we like about him. Me personally, uh, due to me having to sit out next year, I'm really focusing on with Nick, um, just getting stronger and, um, you know, everything about that. Obviously, I'm gonna be on the court working on my game and stuff like that, but, my main, my main goal right now is just working on my body getting stronger, putting on weight and stuff like that. And um, that's, that's really what I'm focused on the most right now. Um, I mean, to win. Um, obviously, you know, we, you can say a championship and stuff like that, but I mean, just to, to go out there and just play hard, I mean, that's what kind of we're getting ingrained in us and just going out there and playing every play 100% and winning and doing whatever it takes to win. And so I think we got guys to do that.